Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to be doing a little makeup tutorial using the White Chocolate Bar Palette. Oops. White Chocolate Bar Palette and my uh, L'Oreal La Nude pa 2 Palette. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel so you can stay in the loop of future videos. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking the LA Colors Matte Single Eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Crease Brush. I'm just going to be dipping into it. And I'm just going to be going into my crease. And I do have a little handheld mirror, so I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just going to be go popping this into the crease. And this is also part of my Project Pan videos. I'm trying to pan this. And I'm just going to be doing this on both sides. And to speed things up, I will probably do my other eye off of camera, but I'll just put this in the crease. And then from now on, I'll just do that to help save some recording time. I'm just going like that. And that's enough of that. Going down the mirror. I'm just going to be taking... Oh, jeez. Brushes are everywhere. Literally. So I'm just going to be taking another crease brush. And I'm just going to be going in... Well, I think I'm going to be going into this um, cake batter, which is a just plain beige kind of color. And I'm just going to be popping that into the crease as well. Just to kind of make things a little bit more natural looking. And I'm just going in windshield wiper motions. And kind of taking it a little bit lower underneath the crease. And I'm just doing the other eye. Since it's just the crease work. Just going back in the eye again to build up the color. Once again windshield wiper motions into the crease and underneath the crease as well and doing the same thing on the other eye to make sure that they're even so I'm also going to be going into my LA L'Oreal palette and I'm going to be taking this beautiful taupey kind of color what's that? Um, this kind of color and I'm going to be putting that on my outer V Ah. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to be putting this matte color right here into my crease. Got a hair on my lip. I'm just going to be going into that. Now, in this palette, there is quite some kickback. So, do be careful about that. Oh, I'm going to just do the other eye off of camera. So, I'm going to be taking this beautiful, um, I don't think that's shimmery, Actually, I'm going to be taking this matte, it's kind of a purpley based brown, and I'm going to be putting that on my outer V. I'm just going to be dabbing it and then slowly pressing it and then blending it out into the crease in a V-like motion. Now that's usually like how I like to do my eyeshadow. Um, I usually do it in the same kind of um, motion, same kind of look. I really don't change it up. I'm going to try to change it up. And if I get any like little bit over here, just like I take a clean finger and just whoop, just to make that line a little bit harsh and not look as sloppy, if you will. So I'm going to be taking the Shimmer Shade Indulge, which is a really beautiful taupey shimmer shade. I thought it would be perfect on the inner portion of my lid. So I'm going to be taking my finger. Actually, when you pick it up on your finger, it looks more silvery than it does anything else. I'm just going to be picking that on my finger. I'm just going to be pressing that into the inner portion of my lid. And I like to do like a a press and move, like a press and sweep, I, I don't know what you would call it. And then I like to change it up with just a stamping. 
motion. I feel like in the inner portion it's easier to press and sweep to really get in that other outer portion of the eye. I really like how this look is coming out. I just, oh, I love these kinds of colors. And just now, using these two palettes together, it's just stunning. I think the purples in that palette and these cool tones in this palette just bring everything to a whole another level that I think that it really needed in this palette. And again, these eyeshadows are performing beautifully together. Like, just this pad alone is performing really beautifully. And so I'm just going to leave the inner portion just like that. So, so for a little bit of added depth, I'm just going to be taking... There goes the snow plow. I'm just going to be taking a smoked sea salt, which is a very beautiful, like a smoky uh, purple, like a smoky purpley quartz kind of color. It's stunning. So I'm just going to be taking that on a little definer brush. I'm just going to be picking that up. I'm just going to be popping that right into this little half moon crescent right here to kind of deepen things up and give it a little bit of dimension that it kind of needs because I feel like things were starting to look a little one note like and I wasn't really liking it. So I'm just gonna slowly just blend that out with that brush and kind of sweep the motions like so. And I'm just gonna do my other eye like I said off the camera. So after I did that I'm gonna be taking my the color chocolate syrup which is a really beautiful like I consider it a grayish kind of color and I'm just gonna be taking a crease brush like we used in the beginning and I'm gonna be using this color to blend out that shade and put that into the crease give it another little bit of dimension I'll just quickly do the other eye too So I am going to be taking the very, very lightest shade that's matte in this palette, and I'm just going to be taking it on a dense brush. It's kind of like a purpley, lilac-y color. I'm just going to be putting it on the highest point of my brow bone. And just to make it look like our brow bone's a lot higher and give that sort of dimension. Now I'm just going to put on my mascara off of camera. I'm going to be using my Lash Princess, so I'll get right back to you guys. So for lipstick, I'm actually going to be taking my e.l.f. Um, what the hell is it called? It's like a uh, lipstick that changes to your uh, lip color. I got it in the berry. It's called Perfect Berry. It's supposed to change to your perfect berry color. And it looks like this in a very slick, sleek packaging. I thought it looked perfect for this mauve eye. So I'm just going to put that on. It comes off looking a little black. But as soon as you move your lips around and it adjusts to your pH and all that, this is the what it turns out to look like. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel so you guys can see future videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.